Namaste, good morning, good afternoon, and or good evening, wherever you may be, across the planet, around the globe. Well, I guess I wouldn't work for flat earthers. <laughs> but good morning to you anyway, as well. My name is Greg Prescott from N5D.com and Zentasia.com, my new website. Check that out. You're looking live at Siesta Key Beach right now. Hi, any luck finding shells? Oh yeah, we love it. Awesome. You know around the corner is the best yeah, shells. Yeah, point of rock. Yes. Yeah, thank you. You're welcome. So I found some uh, shells earlier today on my way out here. I'm actually down at Point of Rocks. And uh, matter of fact, if you ever saw that reality show Siesta Key, that's the house right there. Um, that's the um, the house where the reality show is filmed. Right here on Crescent Beach on Siesta Key. So we have different beach names here. Uh, you, you know, you got the main beach down there. Uh, yeah, way down there is the main beach. That's where uh, Scooter of the Beach does his reports every day. So check him out too on Facebook. And then as it wraps around right here, this is called Crescent Beach, all the way up to about here or so. Actually, I think it pretty much goes all the way to the end. And uh, at the end, it's called Point of Rocks. And then if you go around the corner, you'll find all these awesome shells. I found this on my walk down here. But then further down on Siesta Key, there's Turtle Beach, which is the first place I lived on Siesta Key when I first moved on to the island. So, also found this little guy. Today is October 30th, 2018. We're winding down October. Hopefully no more October surprises. <laughs> you know, the deep state is panicking. And that's what happens. You know, they try to pull things to sway elections and, you know, it's all gotta play out. And I know that many of you have friends that are not of the same political alliance. I have no political alliance. I believe that there should be a council of elders <laughs> to replace all governments. But I know that many people do have friends that don't align to them, you know, in the, in the political arena. And just remember that they're your friends and politics should never take precedence over friendship. So look at the color of the water. It's not good. It's not good, I did see one dead fish up here. I've seen dead minnows on the shoreline. I did see some minnows that were alive swimming in the water. But I noticed this beginning yesterday afternoon where the water color started to get darker. Quick, good morning to everyone that's joining me right now. Henny, Dee, Linda, Audrey, Sandy, Sherry, Kirk, Lords, Jennifer, Donna, Jeannie, Camille, Andrea, Mary, Mike, Carolyn, Catherine, Pat, I'm gonna say good morning, good afternoon, good evening. You're with me on Siesta Key Beach. Watercolor got a little darker. 
it's kind of like greenish brown. And there is a slight smell of red tide in the air. Air temperature right now, probably 80. Water temperature, about 83. Expecting a high of 86 today and a low of 63. So good news on in 5D. Apparently some haters <laughs> filed complaints against in 5D and I contacted Facebook support through their uh, Facebook Business Support Center because I had placed um, ads on Facebook by posting articles with them and they got it taken care of quickly. This guy, John, cool dude, really cool dude. He uh, seems awake and aware. He knows what a mercury retrograde <laughs> is. So I said, you know, this, this is what it feels like. It feels like I'm going through a mercury retrograde. He goes, ah, he goes, ha ah. ha. He goes, I know. So it was cool, and I, I appreciate his help in getting in 5D back up. So, as I mentioned, I also have started a new, a new website called Zentasia, and there's a Zentasia Facebook group of so many people that have joined already. And uh, boy, if you want a lot of high vibration and positive energy, <laughs> join the group because you'll be with like minded people. What I decided to do, give you a spin around right here. Right there's Beach Access 12. This parking lot in between those two buildings right there. It holds about 20 cars. But what I decided to do is take in 5D and give it a template that's similar to Zentasia because Zentasia has a, a template that loads fast and quickly and I'm going to keep it minimal. Um, not many plugins and just lighten up the load on in5d.com because you know, I know some people have had issues in the past with the page loading speed. Here's a seagull with one of the dead minnows that's in the water here. So I found a really cool template. So N5D is going to be getting a facelift. It's going to load ultra quick and there should be absolutely no issues. So I'll be doing that probably in the next week or so with all these seagulls and terns. See they won't eat those minnows. What they do is they peck the eyes out of fish when red tide is here. And you can tell the color right here. This isn't that, it was clear, or semi-clear, we'll, we'll put, you know, in the past couple days, but it's gotten darker. Hey guys. So I plan on doing that with N5D sometime. It's going to be late at night. I've been working really long hours getting Zentasia up and um, writing new articles for it. So what I'm hoping to do is get a long nap in one of these afternoons and then just stay up all night uh, putting the new template in and updating everything. So that'll be happening sometime within the week. I'm not sure when, but I'll give a heads up on my personal Facebook page and on the N5D.com Facebook page. You know, as you know, N5D is one of the largest spiritual, metaphysical, esoteric 
websites on the internet. We get between one to three million visitors every month. And I want to make it as pleasurable of an experience for them. Nobody wants to wait for a page to load. So it's going to be even quicker, faster, and ultimately we'll bring even more people aboard. What we're doing is we're bringing like-minded people together, soul families, star families. Just bringing aboard people of similar and like vibration who want to make this world a better place for all of us. And that's exactly why I'm out here doing what I'm doing right now. On behalf of our sea life that's being poisoned by Big Pharma, phosphorus mining, sewage dumping, and our politicians are allowing this to happen while having their pockets greased by these major corporations. So we need to ha hold these corporations accountable as well as all the politicians. So when you vote this year, make sure whoever it is that wins, hold them accountable. And that's the only way that things are gonna happen is through activism. As I mentioned, we can do all we can do putting positive thoughts and energy into the water, but it really takes activism to address the root of the problem so this never has to occur again. Dude fishing right there. Good luck. So yesterday, after my last broadcast, <clears throat> I hung out for like 10, 15 minutes. Long enough to see an osprey reach down with his talons and pull, out, pull a fish out of the water. And I saw a turn diving in for minnows, but you know, that, that was yesterday morning. And the watercolor has changed since then. It's gotten a little darker. There's a group of pelicans out there. Oh, even more. Shitload of pelicans. And a turn. It's good morning to Rhonda, Sam, Melissa, Teresa. Lori, Amanda, Jody, Ian, Let's see Jenny, Suzanne. Thank you for joining me here live on Siesta Key Beach. If you're just tuning in, my name is Greg Prescott from in5b.com and zentasia.com, my new website. Check out the Facebook group too. Watercolor is a little bit darker. Today it started getting dark yesterday afternoon. I did see one dead fish on the beach. Saw some dead minnows in the water right here. They weren't even floating, they, they sunk. But I also did see some live minnows, little ones. Fortunately, according to WindMapper, the winds are going to be coming out of the northeast, shifting to the east today, and then going to the east tomorrow, and on Thursday from the southeast, moving to the south, from Friday, uh, south-southwest, Saturday from the north, and then Sunday we go back into the east. So we're get moving away from that western wind that blows whatever red tide is still out there onto the shoreline that kills all the fish and sea life. So if you guys have been following the Schumann Resonance, <laughs> it's been going off the charts for the last 
I guess 54 hours over two days. Um, there's just been some complete whiteouts, a lot of white all throughout. Um, lots of energies, and you know, it's it's basically I don't know about you guys, but it's an energetic roller coaster. You know, because some of these Schumann resonance waves that are being recorded, they bring a shitload of energy, while other ones knock your ass out. So, and you end up doing this roller coaster ride up and down, up and down. Personally, for me, right now, I'm feeling uh, crown chakra activity, wide awake. I only slept for like four or five hours. Did not need a lot of sleep last night. Toss and turn was up every you know hour or so. Just gotta grab some water. Bear with me. Of course, you guys know what I drank. It's this 10 pH water, alkaline water. Best water on the planet. So yeah, here's that one dead fish that I saw. That's an idea how big he is. This breaks my heart, man. This should not have happened. Looking at a low tide today around 12.44. High tide isn't until tomorrow at 5 o'clock, 5 a.m., 5.12 a.m. There's a lot of turns. All those are turns, except for one seagull. Yep, more turns. All heading north. Well, we just saw a huge flock of pelicans head north, except for that dude. He's like, screw all y'all, I'm going this way. That would be me. <laughs> you guys go over there, I'm going this way. He's like, I'm gonna follow my higher self. I'm going this way. He's probably flying out to a lake where there's plenty of minnows that are not contaminated by red tide. So yeah, what are you guys feeling on that Schumann resonance for the past 50 some odd hours? Renee's saying, I've been feeling it definitely the last few days. Jeanette, how do I get plasma water? I haven't tried that. But yeah, the water color is definitely darker. Today we got that one dead fish. 
Saw some dead minnows sunk on the shoreline in the water. There's a slight red tide smell going on. No birds diving in the water today. So once again, you know, I've got my ozone alkaline water. Alkaline water infused with ozone while I have a stick of selenite in it. The water's placed inside of a large frosted crystal bowl. So we add sound healing technology to it. Crystal bowl has a, a gemstone and selenite grid around it. So we're adding that to it. And as many of you know, as proven by Dr. Masaro Emoto, water has consciousness. And you can reprogram the structure of the water through thoughts and consciousness. I explained this yesterday on my uh, live video. Plus we add Ho'oponopono, the Hawaiian code for forgiveness, which has been proven to create miracles. And that brings us to this right here right now so if, if you guys would please join me in placing loving healing energies into the water from your heart center to pour this water into the Gulf of Mexico the creator source universe spirit guides guardian angels friends and family on both sides of the veil galactic neighbors and friends higher self mother earth I'm sorry if I don't say this as often as I should please forgive me Thank you for your unconditional love, safety, support, protection, and abundance in everything that's good in life. As I promise to listen with open eyes, ears, mind, and heart, more than anything, I love you. And just focus love on the water. Send it out as far as you can throughout the planet, galaxy, universe, multiverse, and omniverse. Send that intention that all air, water, and food supplies are being healed right now. So it is. why we do what we do every day. There's a the love and compassion that we have for sentient life of all forms. And especially life that has no say or vote on what happens to their environment. You know, there's a lot on my plate. But I wouldn't miss this for anything. This is something I have to do. I'm so grateful for everyone that joins in and helps me on behalf of all the fish that are currently in the ocean, as well as all the ones that had to pay the price, ultimately, of dying, so we could raise exposure to the corruption that's going on in politics, as well as how big sugar phosphorus mining and sewage dumping is killing the Gulf of Mexico. So it's important that we continue to do what we're doing and spread this awareness. So thank you to everyone that continues to share these videos on Facebook because they're getting out and they're reaching people.
And you can just feel it in the ocean, in the water, the gratitude. I woke up this morning with a Van Halen song in my head, Can't Stop Loving You. This planet, Mother Earth. Siesta Key Beach. Yeah, songs get put in your head for a reason. Sometimes random songs that, you know, you know, you guys know me, I like hard rock. Sometimes like a sappy old love song from the 70s will pop into my head <laughs> for no reason whatsoever. Um, but yet, there is a reason. So, yeah, can't stop loving Mother Earth, a beautiful planet, Siesta Key. And we're gonna turn this thing around on behalf of all those fish that have paid their li lives as well as for all the fish that are currently in the Gulf. Not just fish, the dolphins, the sea turtles, manatees, everything. I'm sure the 99.9% .9 quartz crystal sand here helps to magnify our thoughts and intentions as well. So if you're joining late, we actually had one dead fish. I saw some dead minnows sunk in the water, not floating, but on the edge of the water. I have not seen any birds diving for minnows. The water color is darker today. It started getting darker yesterday afternoon. I came out for a walk of gratitude yesterday afternoon. and. Uh, Notice it had started getting darker then. Um, there is a slight red tide smell in the air. Winds are blowing right now out of the north northeast. Water temperature is about 83, air temperature is about 80. And the winds are going to be shifting ultimately. Um, to the east again by the weekend and at no point should they be coming directly out of the west in the foreseeable future within the next week so that's a good thing I'm probably gonna leave it off at that. I've got a lot of work to do. I'm gonna try to find some time though to get away and ground again. As you guys know, I'm a triple Libra. People think that Libras are all about balance. It's the exact opposite. We're constantly seeking balance. So I added a lot more responsibility onto my plate with building Zantasia, but it's something I had to do. And I'll also be, as I mentioned, I found a cool template, a fantastic template for uh, N5D that loads ultra quick. So I'll be working on transferring that over in the next week. Um, as well as uh, continuing to add amazing stuff on uh, articles on all my websites, including Zentasia.com, my new website. So check that out. Check out the Facebook page. Check this out. <laughs> How about that? And no creature inside. I have a bunch of these. I'm just gonna leave it out on the beach for somebody. But yeah, as a, as a Libra, I'm constantly seeking balance, so I have to come out to the beach and ground occasionally. And it really does. Sometimes I have to force myself to come out here and people say, you're crazy. No, it's true, because as a workaholic, it's hard to leave doing what you do, especially when you love doing what you do. But I never regret forcing myself coming to the beach because it just feels so damn good to get out here and ground. And usually when I get out here, I don't want to leave. <laughs> I'm like, screw work. 
So I, I do have to find that balance. And I'm constantly looking for it. And we've taken on the new responsibility of Zentasia along with upgrading the template on N5D. I'm putting a little bit more work on my plate, but you know what? It's in the end, it's gonna reach more people and help raise the critical mass, expand global consciousness, bring uh, soul families together, bring tribe people together. You're gonna find your tribe through these websites. So it's a beautiful thing and it's worth it. I didn't come here just to sit on my ass and do nothing. And hopefully one day when I look back and say, did I do all I could do? I can honestly answer, yeah, I did. So I'm gonna leave it off at that. Of course, I'll always leave you guys with some panoramic shots of Siesta Key after I sign off, but I want to thank you all for joining me once again on behalf of our sea life and our water it means a lot to me and even more to them and you can feel the gratitude in the water we're making things happen one day at a time I'll be back tomorrow with another beach report or if something really cool happens in, in the meanwhile, who knows, I might end up doing an impromptu Facebook Live sometime during the, the, the day. You never know. But I'm going to leave it off at that. Sending you all infinite love and light. This is Greg from N5D.com and Zentasia.com. Peace.